Tucker's taste buds are gonna explode when they taste this sandwich. I don't think I've ever been more excited for something I've made, ever. That is unbelievable. This would be like the last meal I would eat before I died. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Merle. Hi, I'm Rachel. And today we are going to be making two vegan sandwiches at two different price points. One of us is going to be making a $4 sandwich and the other person will be making a $24 sandwich. And then at the end, we will have our friend Tucker come in and see which one of the sandwiches is the best value for its price. Yay! Okay, so we are going to flip a nickel today because we don't have a quarter. And you didn't need to tell them see. that. <laughs> okay, so heads will be expensive, tails will be cheap. Okay, y'all ready for this? Yes. Oh, I got expensive heads. Yay, can't wait to be the cheap one again. We know how well that bodes for me. But you know what? I won't let that hold me back. You've won at cheap before. Once. You know what? I also have to say, I am so excited to make sandwiches because I freaking love sandwiches so much. Like, I don't think you guys understand. I almost made an entire Instagram dedicated to vegan sandwiches. <laughs> and I just, I love sandwiches. They're my love language. Oh, wow. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh! oh okay, <laughs> yeah! So, my plan of attack for the $4 vegan sandwich is to make a vegan banh mi. I love banh mi. Like, it is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, sandwich in the world. Banh mi traditionally is a Vietnamese sandwich. I get it all the time from this place called Mendocino Farms with Rachel. Whenever we're doing like a little park picnic, nobody asks me, but I'm just telling you how much I love banh mi. So today, instead of meat, we're gonna be using tofu because it's cheap. I'm using extra firm tofu and I'm gonna be cutting one third of a block. And then I'm gonna cut this into three like half inch planks. So let's make our marinade. We're going to be adding together some soy sauce, some rice vinegar, maple syrup, some ginger and garlic, and some oil. Now we're just gonna mix that all up. It's a horrible sound. It's the opposite of ASMR. <laughs> How to become more stressed. Then we're gonna plop our little tofu planks into this delicious bath. This sounds disgusting. Ay, caramba. Okay, we wanna make sure that the marinade is evenly covering these little plankies as best it can. And while these are marinating, we're gonna go ahead and make our mushroom pate. For our mushroom pate, we are going to set our pan to a medium high heat and we're gonna add in neutral oil, some onion. We're just gonna saute our adorably diced onions until they are translucent, so about a minute or so. We're gonna add our mushrooms in now and we are going to let them cook down until they've released most of their liquid. That'll give them an opportunity to start to kind of brown up and get a little bit of the golden brown color that we are looking for. Of course, as you know, I'm working on a budget here, but it can be really nice to add walnuts into the mix here. So if you've got walnuts at home and you wanna Kick it up to the next level. You can toss them in there. They'll be a nice addition to this. Okay, so our mushrooms have lost quite a bit of their liquid and we're gonna go ahead and add in some ginger, garlic, Worcester sauce, and good old soy sauce. The Worcester sauce that we're using is vegan, so I don't wanna see any of you tip tap typing away in the comments telling me Worcester sauce isn't vegan, because this one is, okay? Mix that up. These are looking splendid. All right, so I'm just going to put my mushrooms in the food processor and we're gonna blend that up until it is nice and smooth to the consistency of a traditional pate. All right, this is looking pretty pate if I do say so myself. We're gonna just take out the pate and add it to our little ramekin here. And now we're gonna fry up our tofu and to achieve a nice crisp on the outside of our tofu, we're gonna be using cornstarch. So I'm gonna just take one of my little tofu planks and coat it a little bit first. Now I'm gonna add some oil to my pan and I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit. Now I'm gonna add my tofu in and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same to the rest of them. Let's take a looky-loo at this first one. Oh yeah, 
Rachel doesn't know what's coming. Let's just put it that way. Now all that's left to do is to assemble our sandwich. I'm gonna start by smothering one half of this with my mushroom pate. And we're gonna use every last drop of this because it's tasty. Then on the other side, I'm gonna spread some vegan chipotle mayo. Oh yeah. Tucker, his taste buds are gonna be singing. Then we will place our beautifully fried tofu planks on there. Add some cucumber slices. Those cucumbers are gonna add a nice refreshing crunch. Then I've got some cabbage slaw here that I whipped up. And it's just cabbage with lime juice and salt. It looks so pretty. We'll add some jalapeno. Some like it hot. I don't know if Tucker does, so I'm not gonna go totally wild. Then I've got some quick pickled daikon and carrot here and then some quick pickled red onion. A wonderful addition to any sandwich, honestly, if you ask me. All right, here we go. Oh, where she goes. Oh my goodness, what a gorgeous ensemble. Paparazzi, get up in there in that sandwich. It's so beautiful. Look at all the colors, representative of all the flavors. Tucker's taste buds are gonna explode when they taste this sandwich. Gajewski, wherever you are out there, just, 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 okay, just. Now it's time for Rachel to try to make her bougie sandwich. Good luck to you, Rach. Okay, so it is my turn to make a sandwich. I have $24 to make this sandwich, which is crazy. So I'm actually pulling some inspiration here from a sandwich I used to have in college. It was this Italian panini called the Imports Mix, and it had like prosciutto and soppressata and olive tapenade. So yeah, I haven't had this sandwich in so long. So I'm gonna get started by making a pesto. First, I'm gonna add some baby to a food processor. And then this is the special ingredient that's going to rack up the cash. This is truffle oil that I'm using instead of olive oil. I've never had truffle oil pesto. It sounds bougie as you know, we're going for it, guys. Gonna do some pine nuts, also expensive. A Little bit of garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, pinch of salt, and just a little bit of water. I can always add some more after if I need more. Let's blend her up. Alrighty. Woo, that is funky. That truffle smell. All right, so this looks delicious. It smells expensive. So now, keeping in line with my Italian theme, I'm gonna make a roasted red pepper spread. So I'm gonna add some roasted red pepper, and then I'm gonna do some walnuts. Somebody couldn't afford walnuts, but we've got them right here. And then we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, some lemon juice, garlic, a little bit of cumin for some like earthiness, a little bit of paprika, and just a little bit of salt. Okay, look at this gorgeous color. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. So now I'm gonna make an olive tapenade because you know we need another spread. I'm gonna add some of these green olives. They're called Castelvetrano olives. Amazing Italian if you've ever heard it. Now we're gonna add some Kalamata olives, some artichokes too, some parsley, a little bit of olive oil, some garlic, and some lemon juice. We don't want it to be totally smooth, we still want it to have some texture. Yeah, this looks freaking amazing. Okay, it is time to assemble our sandwich. I am so excited, look at this freaking spread. We're gonna start off with the roasted red pepper sauce. This looks so beautiful on here. Now on this side, I'm gonna add my truffle oil pesto. That truffle oil is potent, but in a, in a very good way. So this prosciutto and carpaccio was made in Italy. So this actually is an imports mix. And I'm gonna go heavy on the meats, which is how I like to play it. Oh my God, this looks like prosciutto. We're gonna do some carpaccio, and this is where things are gonna start to add up a little bit, you know? But we are going all out here. This looks like actual deli meat. And that's not all because we also have some soppressata. I cut it into very thin slices, so I'm just gonna add that on as well. Oh baby, 
All right, now I have some Yoko's cashew mozzarella. Also pretty pricey, but very worth it. So we're gonna add this on like so. And then I'm gonna add some provolone cheese because one type of cheese is not enough. Oh my God. I think this is like my favorite thing I've ever made. Now we're gonna add some of our olive tapenade. Oh my God. This would be like the last meal I would eat before I died. <laughs> Now we're gonna do some arugula on top and we're gonna put the little hat back on. Wow, holy shit. This looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna spray my pan with some olive oil. Bring it over here. Ready? Without breaking the bread. We don't wanna break the bread. There we go. I did, in fact, crack the bread a little bit I think you're actually supposed to just let it sit on there. You're not supposed to actually try to like murder it. But guys, we are experiencing this journey together. Now I'm going to very carefully flip this over. Okay, and we're gonna press this side down. And it's okay if it's a little bit messy and there's red pepper sauce flying out the side because it's rustic supposed to be a little messy. All right, now I'm gonna attempt to melt the cheese a little bit more. It's hard to melt vegan cheese, but we're gonna try. Did the vegan cheese melt perfectly? No, it didn't, but that's okay. This looks so good. I don't think I've ever been more excited for something I've made, ever. So now Tucker's gonna come and taste test and pick a winner. Okay, Tucker, welcome. Wow. We made two different sandwiches at two different price points. One was a cheap budget and one had an expensive budget. You're gonna tell us which sandwich you think has the best value. So why don't you go ahead and first try the sandwich on your left? Absolutely. Oh, it comes with a sauce. We're just gonna dig in. Okay, he is spilling everywhere. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, hello. That's what we call in the biz. A sandwich. Okay, this has gotta be like a little tofu action. I'm into a tofu as a bun with other stuff on top because if I was just like eating tofu straight up, I'd go, mm, maybe no. But this is delish. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Mm, oh, 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 oh. I don't know what I did wrong on the first bite, but the second bite was like way more flavorful. That's unbelievable. Oh wow. Unbelievable. So there's like this uh, pate on there. What do you think that pate is made out of? That's gotta be a mush. It's wow. gotta be a mushroom. You're truly a savant. Ah! Truly. A savant? You know? This one looks expensive, I must say. Oh! <laughs> oh! This is actually kind of scary to me because this fully looks and tastes like meat to me. Well, that legally that's a meat. <laughs> if we look at the law, the law tells us that's a meat. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm sorry, there's multiple types of meat on here. This one is really good too. I'm like the worst. I'm the worst because I'm just like, mm, that's good. I just can't tell which one's like what price point. Okay. That's even more interesting if you can't tell. Interesting is one word for it. <laughs> this one on your left is $4 to make the sandwich. You're lying. Sorry, sorry, continue. <laughs> And that one on your right is $24. Whoa! That is unbelievable. So based on that knowledge, which sandwich do you think has the best value for its price? When I go to a restaurant, if I saw something that was $24, he turns around and I walk out and I go, excuse me, I can't give you half my net worth for this one sandwich, you know? Absurd. In that aspect, I look at the sandwich, I go, yum, yum, I want that in my tum. If I was like, oh, I am craving like a meat option. I look at this and I go, okay, maybe you do have to get that wallet out. However, all factors considered, I have to go with this one and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know whose it was, I don't know whose it was. It's me, it's me, it's me. I knew it! Yay. And you know what? It's cause you didn't say I it's was gonna win. It's cause I didn't say you were gonna win this time. Bon me's don't mess around. I remember having bon me at a food truck at my high school homecoming game. Was I playing? No, I didn't play sports. But I got a bond me, and I'll tell you what, this one's better. Yes! 100%! Yes. And cheaper! Oh. Way to go, Merle! Thank you. Oh I will take gosh. that win with pride. I'll take this to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are gonna give the people what they want. Woo! And we are gonna try these sandwiches now. You wanna do the bond me? Oh my lordy. Oh wow, how do you approach this thing? Mmm. Oh, sh 
Mm-hmm. I did it. Mm-hmm. I think where this wins is like, there's so many different flavors coming together. It feels expensive because it's like a complexity of flavor. Mm-hmm. Choose that flavor. So it's like, it doesn't have to be cheap and sad. It can be cheap and mm -hmm. delicious. There's no PB and J. Okay, now let's try the imports mix. Yeah. I am dying to try this. I'm dying to try your freaking pocket of meats here. I'm like, what is this? What's going on here? Oh my God. Ooh, that's meaty and I like it. You know what I mean? This yeah. should be in a calzone. Mm -hmm. I would slurp that down real quick. I don't love your choice of words. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> see me with a calzone, trust me. Okay, I gotta say, this is fantastic. Is it worth $24? No. For not. But if you are willing to spend half your net worth on a sandwich, <laughs> you should make this. So let us know in the comments below what you want us to make next for our next challenge. And we'll probably do it. Hey, that's where I got this idea. It was in the comments section. So, you know, it happens. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye now. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just kneel right into the pastrami that's down here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this yeah. sandwich is so good.